was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall finally got here about one hour journey to this place so this is just like the um, room like this hostel before heading to the farm so here these white containers are like hostels they're like rooms where they have beds for people who want to sleep over because they basically have like two shifts the morning and the afternoon so you can basically like Stay in there and then um, change, sleep over, there's kitchen, there's so many things. So when we get to this point and then they will now drive us to the main farm where the job is. And I'm going to bring you guys along. Um, it's, just, it's pretty very early and you guys, I think I'm having headache. That's just like the conclusion. But let me briefly show you guys what this place looks like. And then let's go and pick up some crates. So like I said this is just like hostel and then this is warehouse this is just like a story so guys this is what the crate looks like this is basically like the picture of the crate so here we have four two three four because you can basically just carry four at the same time two on one hand and then two on the second hand this is actually like four this is two this is one and this is one so each of these crates is about four zloty right because they pay per crate so each of these crates is like four zloty once you are done picking it let me see so this is what the bunk like the room looks like when you open it um they are baked actually if you want to sleep so this is what it looks like just like normal hostel vibe and trust me there are people staying here also the hustle <laughs> the hustle is real guys like the hustle is real and this is what it looks like basically i feel like one of the reasons why i'm even like vlogging and showing you guys like this part is that people don't really show you know like hustling jobs when they first traveled the kind of job they did when they traveled at first before things start to get better and i'm like why not we are going to show both the good parts and also the hustling part so when things get better a lot of you can actually like relate and also if you are in this situation you know that you are not alone so let's go to the farm so guys this is what it looks like you can see like this is what the strawberry looks like and this is how the crate is it's basically like the full crate so each of this crate is about four zoti and you basically have to like carry them this way and this is what it looks like so guys it's not really easy you know and i feel like you guys this is what people are doing and let me know like if you're in the diaspora or you traveled like what was your first job like what did you do first um, I feel like people don't really talk about this part. It's okay for me to show you guys like when things get better, the glamorous job, the glamorous apartments, 
and then when you are coming you have this mindset of this is how things are going to be and by the time you get there and you're not getting what you're expecting you kind of like feel a bit bad because of what you've seen on the internet or what people have like projected to you on the internet but really this is basically like the reality you know and it's normal and it's okay because when you come into like a new country whereby you don't have anybody you really have to be ready to like make sure that your bills are being paid or like your fees are being paid no like no qualms if you are being sponsored you know let's say you have a sponsor or your parents are like taking care of your bills you might not really have to do certain jobs because you are well taken care of and your bills are being taken care of or if you are being sponsored by your spouse and all of that but if you have like sponsoring yourself you know that you have bills to pay you have accommodation and then you have school fees to pay you should be ready to pick up like any legit job so as long as the job is legit i think it's actually like okay for you to do it and once it's not something that has like complications on your health so one thing about this job is the fact that because you are picking the strawberries the ripe one from the floor from the roots which is basically like very low the effect of this is that there is tendency for you to have like a very high waist pain because um your waist your back your like the back side of your body generally is really going to ache you a lot because you're actually like bending down to pick the right ones and that is actually like very stressful and then you're doing it like outside you know like i woke up pretty much around three to leave the dorm by four to get here by five it's pretty early and then you have to like bend down to pick like the right ones and which is actually like very stressful to be very honest but as long as the bills are paid the bills are getting paid and you are feeding with all of that and i think it's fine for you to just like do it and this is also to say that those of you that are used to like billing people or friends and family the moment they move out of your country you feel like because they've moved out they are doing well already they are successful and you start to build them with expenses you start to expect them to send money back home to you it's okay but i'm going to say that don't build anybody because you really don't know what people are going through or the kind of jobs people are doing just to keep up with their own bills here talk less about sending money back home so it's okay for you to build your friends or your family in diaspora and it's also okay for them to tell you that they don't have the money the fact that you are seeing glamorous pictures that they are posting um doesn't mean that things are actually the way it is and also you should also know that people are pretty working very hard to earn a living to make sure that their bills are being paid and you should also respect that by when you ask them to give you if they don't it's okay it's not that they are stingy or they are wicked it's just because things are really hard you need to work hard to be able to like pay your bills right so if you have this mindset of oh my friend does travel she's doing well she's doing good and then you have to start billing now stop it you really need to stop it you really need to know you know ask your friend how is she doing what kind of job is it is she or he or she doing before you even come up with any form of expenses because it's really not what you think at all and it's okay because this is just like a new phase a new journey you should be ready to pick up like certain jobs that just so at least things can get better with time and once things get better you're definitely going to enjoy it by god's grace so if you're also planning on coming i feel like don't put your expectations on your hope very high based on what you see on the internet because not everyone is ready to show you like this hustling part of it so just put your mind as you know things are going to work out the way it's definitely going to work out and just go according to the flow and also like how things are going so yeah if you have that mindset of billing because your friends have traveled just stop it okay and if you are coming just also put your mind at you know things are going to go well this is actually like my like my um first time coming to the farm i've never like been to the farm back in nigeria but this is what i'm doing just so my bills can get paid you know i can't spend like six hours eight hours under the sun picking strawberries and then you're at home back home you don't have a job you don't have anything and then you're bringing up bills for me to take care of except if i am obligated to you or except if i have responsibility over you which is basically like just my family alone it's going to be very slim or very hard for you to like give out such money because you know the stress i'm literally having like back pain and the whole of my back totally hurts when i say it's hot i mean it's hot 100 percent trust me when i say that 
I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and how to like pick it so you guys can imagine that you have to bend for the whole six hours that is a whole lot and the farm is actually like very big which I'm going to show you guys also let me know what was your first job when you moved to diaspora in the comment section so we can just encourage people who have the intention of who are traveling very soon to also prepare their mind you know for such kind of life <laughs> so let me show you guys what the farm looks like and how to definitely like plug it You can see that this is the floor level it simply means that you have to bend now let's use this strawberry as an example so this you have to check like the ones that are ripe like the ones that are ripe this is actually ripe and this is not because this part is actually like green so this is not totally ripe also because you can also see that it has like white here so this you can say is ripe and then you go ahead and plug it so you are definitely just plugging like the ripe ones and then you move so you can see for this part now you just have one for this part you just have one that is ripe so you have to like move to the next part and this is not ripe you have to search for it and this is ripe you can see then you go ahead and plug it so you have to do that for this ridge let me show you guys what the farm looks like can you see what the farm looks like it's actually like very it's a very big farm so each very big guys you can see people are working it's actually a like very big i really don't know like the ending of the farm but you can see you can see down you can see this angle and also this angle so literally they are done in a rich form this way like this is one this is two this is three so when you come you have like this line so if this is your line you are picking half of this ridge and half of this ridge right because this is where your line is so you are picking half of here half of here and then the person who is beside you is picking half of here and half of here and then you have to pick it all the way down so for every day they kind of like give us like um so for every day they kind of like give us like the target not really target because the major target here is the number of baskets that you pick so they kind of like put a ridge on where you are not supposed to cross for the day so 
um, the number of baskets you pick from the beginning to where that ridge is totally depends on how fruitful like where your ridge is and also how fast you are so definitely pay per basket and not like finishing the old ridge i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say so yeah i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll- Guys hmm. Oh God <laughs> <laughs> Days like this, you are going to question your existence. <laughs> Me, baby. Days like this, you are going to question your existence. What? <sighs> Under this hot sun. Things like this, you are going to question your existence. You are going to be like, who sent me to this country? Who even sent me to live like my father's land? There's a reason why they call a land father's land. <laughs> there's a reason why they call it father's land. Hmm? And there's a reason why they call it diaspora. <laughs> <laughs> like because I've literally not been to the farm before in Nigeria. I've not even done like labor work or manual job back home. And this is me guys. Like the sun is actually very hot. And let me show you guys. I am lying down on the floor. Can you see it guys? I am literally lying down on the floor because to pick the strawberry you have to like crawl you have to crawl you have to knee down you have to lie down you can't stand up to do it and god and guess what guys i have class today i have class by 2 pm so from the farm i'm heading to class when they say the hustle is real trust me 100 percent the hustle is real for those of you that have everything at your comfort you really don't know what god has done for you you don't know what god has done for you because if you do you will also realize that people are going through a lot just to like make ends means or just to have basic things of life and i'm so grateful for such opportunity regardless because this is just like a starting point and also um sometimes in life you have to like go through some certain journeys so when you get to the top you can remember like where you started from and be grateful to god and that is why i'm like you know what i'm going to show this part also so that you guys can see it so when when it finally happens <laughs> when i start working like nine to five when i start like launching buying the new cars buying the new houses when i start you know those good things of life you guys can also relate and also for people who are in this situation by that time it will give them a source of hope and a source of inspiration that things are going to get better you know this is not how things are going to be you just have to keep on pushing you have to keep on working you have to be strong you have to make sure that you know and trust me everything is going to be all right i don't know how many baskets i've picked at this point but my tired is tired i have a class today and i have an exam tomorrow <laughs> i have a class today by two and i have an exam tomorrow by 9 30. so it simply means that uh, from the farm to class and then i still have to like get ready read for the exams tomorrow with this back ache with this stress with this pain so when i finally come out and i'm done i know that here this is it ah god 
you just times like this to be very honest with you guys you just be asking yourself that did i make the right choice which kind of life is this why am i even here why am i doing this <sighs> just breathe breathe your name upon me breathe your name your name is yahweh breathe lord just breathe your name upon me breathe Breathe, your name is Yahweh. Breathe, Lord. When God breathes upon the business, upon the job, upon everything, you guys can relate. Well, I think I've spent a lot of time talking to you guys, and I'm supposed to be picking strawberries. One thing about this job is the fact that I think my love for strawberries are actually like reducing because maybe it's the hardship that I'm passing through now picking the strawberry. That is making me feel like I don't like the strawberries anymore. Maybe. But maybe when I'm done picking it and when, you know, things are very better, maybe I'm going to like it back. But for now, I feel like I have a hate love for strawberries now because of this thread that I'm passing through. God! <sighs> and let me tell you guys something. Let me just you guys. Some people are very fast in this farm. I'm not going to mention the countries, but there are some countries that they are freaking fast. Hey! You'll be like, do you have scissors in your hand? Do you have razor blade? How are you guys doing it? They are 100% fast. Like before you close your eyes and open it, they've gone, they've come back. Ah! Hey! Guys, I've talked a lot, guys. Let me go ahead and pick up, continue picking. And at the end, I will let you guys know how many baskets I was able to do today. <laughs> But let me know, guess how many do you think I'll be able to do from six, from six thirty to around twelve or one? How many baskets do you think I'll be able to pick today? So put it down in the comment section. Let me go ahead and continue with my job. I know you told your friend you're not okay, and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Are you through with this set now? Are you done with this your first set now? And guys, can you see this? This is actually like chicken. It's like this kind of like chokes the body 
you get so you have to be careful when you are picking it for this kind of leaf why for the strawberry leaf it doesn't like itch but this actually itch the body guys i just got back from the farm i literally had like just 10 minutes like dress up and i'm at the bus station to take a bus we have a class i am so exhausted guys like i'm not even going to lie i'm so exhausted and i'm tired so we have a class today and then we have exams tomorrow morning so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'll definitely see you guys in my next one don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys bye